Hello Internet people! In this video I'll show you a great alternative to Elementor Pro and it's called Jet Elements. I'll first show you my 5 favorite elements in detail and then I'll quickly show the rest of the elements that are available in Jet Elements. Arnie, what do you say about that? Enough talk! Tape sweat punch! Alright, so Jet Elements is a plugin made by Template Monster and you can grab it from their site. I'll put the link in the description. Basically, you land on this page and it has roughly the same features as uh, Elementor Pro except the header and footer builders. That's not included in this one. If you have a basic navigation, you probably can do it in your theme anyway. You save a lot of money because Jet Elements is $15 and if you find a discount it might be even $10 whereas Elementor Pro is about $49 per year you have to renew it every year with Jet Elements it's one time purchase and obviously you need to install Elementor before you can use this plugin oh really but Elementor is free so that won't be a problem so let's get started I'm on WordPress page and inside the Elementor Builder and once you install Jet Elements you will have additional tab here Jet Elements so you can see there's a bunch of them here and I just want to show you the top five so let's start with the one that I liked the most which is vertical timeline and this is really cool for your maybe about page or somewhere where you need to show how things have progressed and the cool thing is obviously you can add as many cards as you want and then there's a lot of different things you can adjust so obviously you can name them as, as you want give them dates uh, you can even show an image so I can throw in a quick image let's see what I have I hope my adult entertainment doesn't show up here yeah Bill change the text obviously you can even choose which icon you're going to use I guess these are the default Elementor icons and you can use whatever whatever you feel like and then if we go to layout changes they have this animate and if you choose that one you can see once it loads here that now it throws in the cards quite nicely I actually like that animation usually I don't but this one is quite nice on the actual page you can see the animations so the cards come from sides let's move on to the next element so if we go to jet elements image comparison I've seen a lot of websites use it for before and after images but you could also use on your blog it comes as a carousel I don't usually like that at least you can stop the autoplay let's add some images to it so there's no two I'm going to delete one when you click on this one you have before and after so let's say what do I have here this and then this one so now you can call this 2018 and then this is 2019 very creative I know so now if we take a look what it has it's just this you can swipe back and forth to see an image and obviously you can make the image smaller and adjust the size and stuff like that but I found this really cool Arnie what do you think about the image slider it's as satisfying to me as uh, coming is okay moving on to the next one which is the scroll navigation and I find this really useful basically for all types of pages especially if, if you have a long blog post or something like that I think this will work really well it's called scroll navigation and now if I drag it somewhere so basically you have these three balls here on click they will take you to a section you specify so for example you can call this person img and then this is the ID you need to enter so in that case we call this comp img so then 
take this image and go to the advanced tab we can actually set the css id and if you give it the same id as to the to the ball in previous step so now if i'm anywhere on the page and i click on this one it will scroll to the right section you can add more of these dots it's up to you how many you want but i find this really cool feature where if you have a long content and it's easy for the user to find it so they don't end up like Larissa. Why do you have flowers? <laughs> no flowers, honey, I'm sorry. Another element that I really liked is a price table. So let's just set up a three column layout first and then find the price table element and place it on the page. You can obviously remove the icon or keep it. For me, they don't make sense, so I'll remove the icon. Then you can call your entry price plan silver and then you make a small description you can even set this little feature badge on it and set the position of the badge then obviously you can also change the price prefix let's change it to 49.99 per month and then you can actually add some description And then here you can add more of the features and you can have included, excluded, and obviously the text. And then the CTA, the button itself, you can buy or learn more. So then when you're happy with what you have, you can actually just copy this and throw it in the other columns. Now if I refresh my page and go to the bottom, you can see I have three different blocks for pricing. Arnie, what happens if you don't put prices on your website? Only pain. Moving on to the fifth element, I want to show you the testimonials element, which is here. And if you drag and drop it, I'm sure a lot of businesses need this one. Testimonials and some sort of reviews from clients. It's, it's their golden for, for conversion. This one looks quite simple, but you can pimp it up. I'll stop the autoplay, just my personal preference. And then I can add an image to the items. So in this case, item one, for example, the image of the person who quoted it. And yes, I'm Mary Scott, so I'll leave it as is. And I like to be founder not sure you need the date. You can also change the animation to fade. And uh, animation speed is all right. You can add the arrows so that you can go to the next one. And then I want to make this image a circle. So again, I just go to the image and percentage with the and becomes some circle. It's a, a bit hard to see because it's a PNG, but if you have a full picture with the background color, you'll see it's just a circle. You have nice neat carousel with your customer quotes like this. Get out of here, man. Thanks for a nice quote, buddy. Let me show you what else Jet Elements has to offer. I have a page here that I quickly put together. So let's start from the top. You have a carousel with images, text, and a button. Then a Google Maps thing to show a location of your business or, or any other location. Then you got this flippity box that you can animate in different ways. Then you have a heading with some animation in it. Obviously, you also have sound player, for example, for podcasts image with multiple hover options more options to display images a button with custom hover state percentage circle with a small animation when you scroll the page countdown timer and then this a cool download button with file size Another header with different style, horizontal timeline, you can just scroll horizontally like this. This you already saw. Images with hover states with text. 
menu price list so maybe if you're selling pizzas or things or anything with food this would fit very well for that icon and title text thingy image slider mailchimp email field style table team members block testimonials carousel and few different woocommerce blocks i left a few blocks from here there's about five to ten more but you get the picture there's a lot of things to choose from and if you're running a business this plugin can be really useful for you my name is robert and if you're looking to master the digital world while getting entertained this is the channel for you so hit that subscribe button and find the bell icon so that you get notified about new videos.